Uh, Elliot Giles running 335 in Ostrava. Solid mark for him. Um, more of an 800-meter runner moving up in distance here. We know how good he's been indoors in the past. <clears throat> really impressive run from here, seeing the final meters here. If you're watching live on YouTube, held off a strong field to go 335. That British contingent in the 8 and the 15 on the men's side and on the women's side too, but for the purposes of this discussion, just focus on the men, is really tough. It's really tough. And I don't know if this is part of a long-time play, long-term play for Giles, but – Having options in both the 8 and the 15 seems like a smart plan if you're a British man right now because it is a tough, tough team to make. And that 335 slots in behind Kerr and Hoare. They're split from Milrose ahead of Colby Alexander on the yearly list, number three. Yeah, 335 indoors is impressive. Like It is hard to get around that track eight times or seven and a half times to uh... – run 335 mm -hmm. so that's like the equivalent in my opinion of running like a 333 outdoors mm -hmm. and yeah. like i remember when donovan brazier was running his 334 we were like oh my goodness he's ungodly he's godly like, he's like <laughs> there's nothing he can't do so for this 800 man from from the uk to be able to do this it's very impressive and it makes yeah. you think like giles maybe Entering his like his peak form, and this could be his sleeper year to you know make a final and potentially medal against you know the top Kenyans and against you know Donovan and all those other guys. Yeah, like I said, it gives him options too. I don't know if he's going to be like, hey, I'm a 1500 meter runner now, but it does it does give you options. And when you're in a country that is that deep, that always that always helps. There's something about certain athletes and in indoors that just clicks for them. And he's one of those guys. Cause we saw at the beginning of the indoor season last year, just got on the tear and was able to hold it for the whole season. And now he's back 2022 doing the same thing, but in a different distance. So we'll see if he can carry it through, see if he runs world indoors and see if he's able to hold the form into outdoors. Certainly a long way to go until you get to world champs in Eugene, but you'd rather have a good indoor season than a bad indoor season even if it means that you're overperforming in the indoor season. It's a quote of the year. Mm. You'd rather have a good indoor season than a bad indoor season. Put that you know, Gordon, if I ever go into coaching, that might be one of my, one of my main uh, go-to lines to pump people up. Yeah, so he's sixth indoor all time, according to Statman, John, in the UK. And that's obviously got some big names on that list. So we'll maybe see him move up. I know Josh Kerr, he had a great post about how he was only like two tenths off the, the UK record again for indoors. And he was just a couple tenths off um, for outdoors too. And he's aiming for, for some British records as well. So we'll see exciting times going on right now on the uh, other side of the pond. Here's the, here's the quote from Kerr though. This is great. His Instagram uh, trash talk is pretty unparalleled right now when it comes to mid distance i'm getting good at being 0.2 seconds off british records peter elliott and mo farah that's your final scare next time they're gone so <laughs> two two tenths off both in indoor and and outdoor in the mile what is that facial reaction to like it looks like he got like it looks like that you know that meme of like that like that black kid who's like oh uh oh like you caught me you know what I'm talking about? Travis, you know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? He's like looking to the left, like awkward. That's what it looks like. Do you know what I mean? The I awkward think it, kid me. I think it looks like you just got out kicked by Oliver Hort. That's what that looks like. I think that's that that's what that look is. But or maybe Travis because he's saying Travis, that's, put that's type it. in awkward kid meme and then put it side by side with Kerr. And you can see what I'm talking about. He looks exactly like him. That's the uh Maybe because he put scare in there, and it, it kind of looks there's like a, a little bit of fear there with the with the hair. I got to admit, yeah, I don't kid. see it. I see it. He's like looking to the left. He's like, oh. I don't think he and then looks, is he and then show is he is he blown away? I, I I think it's more. I don't know. I, that's what I felt like. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I'm probably wrong. 